All right, so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be attempting to make essentially a screwless or at least visible screwless wedding arch out of four by fours, two by fours in this wooden dowel. So the way that it's gonna work is the first thing that we're gonna do is because these are too big for me to fit in my workshop, um, we have to kind of bring them outside, but we're actually gonna glue this bottom part to here. What that's gonna do is since it's just me out here, it's gonna allow me to kind of hold that in place while I pre-drill holes. And then I'm gonna be using some really, really long um, bolts to hold that in to make it so that when it pulls, it's not pulling that wood out. Uh, traditionally, like if we take a look at this wedding arch over here, you would have those supports at the bottom that would kind of hold and take some of the pressure off of the screws at the bottom here that are holding that out. Um, what we're trying to do is make this look like uh, it's actually in the ground. So we're gonna be able to cover up this bottom board with um, grass or flowers or something um, so that these won't be visible. And then this one doesn't actually have any of the top arches there. So, um, but if it had, we're not gonna put any of those on there either. But the idea is to make it look like this is actually physically planted in the ground and doesn't have any other uh, structure holding it up. Um, the reason we're using a dowel instead of your traditional screws is we want to go with more of a modern look, meaning we don't want any of the exposed bolts. Like if you look at this one over here, you see the exposed bolts on the outside. You can cover those up with flowers, but the idea is we want to use this uh, as an archway uh, for when we actually build out a uh, patio over here. That way we kind of get to keep it forever. So what we're going to do is where these holes are marked, uh, we're going to drill in about three inches, which is going to allow us to glue this dowel in on each side, which will still allow us to transport this pretty easily without having to transport it as one super heavy solid piece. Uh, we'll then drill in about a foot. If you were imagining this going inside here, that's where it's gonna kind of slip in. We're gonna drill down um, about a foot. That'll allow this to really, really sit in place. So if there's some really high winds, uh, worst case scenario too, we can also drill holes at either end of this, um, put stakes in the ground. I think that it'll probably work without that, but um, should we need to do that, that's what we'll do. So first thing we'll start with is just kind of glue in uh, these bottom supports on. Uh, we'll cut this dowel up, drill in, and then see how it all goes together. All right, so gluing it was taking too long for my patience, so we're just gonna drill some pilot holes and hopefully we can hold it where it's supposed to go. We're gonna have to get someone to get that down.
so new plan we are not going to have a dowel that's a foot long we're actually going to cut those dowels off and we're going to make it a lot shorter because i just broke my drill and didn't realize couldn't go that deep in there um i think even you know it's probably to about there i think even the six inches there with the weight of that board on top is going to be more than enough so uh we're gonna go try and get this out of here and then hopefully my drill is good enough to do the next one if not then i'll be making a trip to lowe's and final product all together now all she needs is some paint just for a uh, point of reference might be a little tall but once you put things on it i think it'll work out pretty well